On an average day, a Hernando County Sheriff's deputy issues a couple criminal citations. But with this new technology, they can scan 2,000 license plates per minute, quadrupling the amount of tickets. We have three cameras. The cameras are mounted on the trunk. Deputy Lance Oregon has been using the automatic license plate readers since July. If we're looking for a particular person, um, it's pretty consuming to try to um, locate that specific vehicle or that specific license plate. Saying the technology has made his job of finding criminals easier and faster. See, the picture is constantly changing because it's taken uh, pictures of the license plates as we come across them. His car is one of two in the traffic unit with the scanners. Equipping each patrol car cost about $17,000, paid for by seized drug money. The devices searching everything from stolen vehicles to wanted people and even tracking Amber Alerts. It'll show a picture of the vehicle. It'll show a picture of the license plate. It'll turn that picture into data and then it'll query it. This is what happens when he gets a hit. Suspended or revoked registration. That silver Pontiac hasn't expired tag. Before he pulls the car over, though, he has to verify the driver's description matches who's in the car. Uh, with that information, we can look over at the driver and we can say, yes, it's a white male. He's 36 years old. We're able to pull him over and uh, do our investigation from there. So you don't have a license? Not only did this person behind the wheel have an expired tag, but no license. With that being said, we're going to generate a criminal ticket. In less than 30 minutes, Oregon gets another hit. This time, the driver has a suspended license. If you guys can, without having to take the time to type it in, and it just automatically does it, there's really nothing wrong with it. For those concerned about privacy, Deputy Matt Lillybridge says it's legal to run random license plates wherever, whenever. Those officers routinely, randomly run tags for registration checks. Uh, before computers, we used to do it with a radio. And As for keeping the data that's scanned, he says they have a policy in place. The data that we collect um, when we run the tags on the street is currently being held for 90 days. That policy is in review. And he claims they only share the information if another agency needs it for an investigation. In the future, the Hernando County Sheriff's Office hopes to equip all the traffic units with this technology. In Brooksville, for the now, I'm Christy Post. Well, the most notable and recent arrest using the scan readers was the man who murdered two journalists in Virginia. So we wanted to know if there were any other law enforcement agencies around the Tampa Bay area using these readers. And certainly there are, not just in Hernando County, but also Polk, Pasco, Hillsborough, Pinellas County Sheriff's Office all have those license plate readers. Now, why is the USF bull right here? Well, because their police officers have them too, have had them through a grant since 2010. They say they even use them to help students find their cars when they forget where they parked on campus. Florida Highway Patrol, as well as St. Petersburg Police and Tampa Police, though, they do not have them.